Hey guys, it's Scott here and thank you for clicking this video. I hope you're all doing well. I know I might be a little late to the party with this, but I wanted to show you guys my best settings to use in Warzone Season 1. Of course, do take some of this with a pinch of salt. I will try explain the best I can, where I can, and where you might want to tweak certain settings, but this is personally what feels good for me and works well for me. Coming up after this, we do have some rebirth gameplay as well, so make sure to stick around. But let's get straight into the settings. Now of course, the best button layout in my opinion is tactical, especially if you don't have a scuff controller or a controller with back paddles. Having your crouch and slide button on your movement and aiming thumbstick just really makes a huge difference. Keeping your thumb on the thumbstick as much as possible and being able to crouch or slide spam just really helps out. And sometimes it might help you in a fight as well. My stick layout is just the default, no messing around there. An inverted look, I keep that off. It's something I just can't stand. Some people love it, but I absolutely hate it. The dead zone is where things get a little interesting. So I do have an old controller and with that comes stick drift. Now if you don't know what stick drift is, it's where minute movements in the thumbstick may cause your crosshair or cursor to move. And with mine being an old controller, it kind of comes along with that. What I found is the dead zone of 0.1 combats the stick drift and having a higher dead zone means more movement is required in your thumbstick for it to be registered. So for me, 0.1 combats that stick drift and just works really, really well when I'm aiming. Again, if you have a newer controller, this might be something you want to play about with as you might be able to get away with a smaller dead zone. I personally do prefer the smallest dead zone I can have but unfortunately stick drift is just too much for me so I do have to use 0.1. My stick sensitivity is only at 5 and 5. Now I did use to play on higher sensitivity and in old Call of Duty I did use to play on the 10-10 like a lot of different people. But I feel aim is so so important especially in Warzone and being able to manage that just really helps out at those long distances so I do play on a lower sensitivity of 5-5. Five, five. Again, you might prefer a higher sensitivity and that's completely fine. Just use whatever kind of feel comfortable to you. But I would recommend starting on 5 and 5 if you're a little unsure. My ADS sensitivity multiplier, I do like my low zoom sights to be a little lower. Having that extra fine aim control using the, you know, the one time sights just really, really seems to help. And I, I, I don't like too much movement on that because if the target is quite close up or the target's quite far away and I am only using the one time sight, I like to really be able to control that movement. However, with the high zoom, I feel the movement is too slow. So I've upped this to a sensitivity of one. Especially with the sniper scope, sometimes it can feel like you're taking forever to move your scope. And if someone's at a longer distance, it's going to take longer to track them and keep up with their movement. So I do recommend having this a little higher than your low zoom and keeping it roughly the same as your normal horizontal stick sensitivity. The aim response curve, this is where things get interesting. There's actually a lot of maths going on behind the scene. Now standard takes a little longer to ramp up, so essentially movements that are maybe accidental with a with a heavy hand don't do as much kind of turning as it would with a raw one-to-one -one input, so it does kind of combat that. So again for that stick drift I feel that works well for me and this is the better option especially if you're a beginner player. The linear, however, that's a raw one-to-one -one input. So if I had a low dead zone and the linear, I would definitely get stick drift. The linear, basically, any movement you make on that stick, it will match it on screen for a one-to-one -one ratio, and there'll be no slowdown or no ramp up. Dynamic, this gets a little bit tricky, and I'm not too sure myself, but it's a reverse S-curve, and this is better for finer aim control, I believe, when you're running and gunning. So. I think it slows down as you're turning, so as you reach your max turn, I think it begins to slow down. So that's why it's kind of better for your running and gunning and doing fast turns. So you can kind of slow down and lock onto your target quicker. Now don't quote me on that, but that's my best explanation. It does get a little tricky, so if you want to look into that a little more, I would recommend doing some further research. But honestly, it can get a little crazy how 
how complex these things get. Control the vibration, I just like to keep that on. I know people say it affects your aim if you keep it on and a lot of people have it disabled, but honestly it feels weird to me just playing with no vibration. Aim assist is just standard. This is something I might play around with because sometimes I do feel like it, it kind of affects me in a bad way. Um, I would recommend if you want in a completely raw feel, turning your aim assist off and using a linear input. If that's something you want to practice with and really, really practice and get better at aiming on a controller. But most people, the standard aim assist should just work just fine. If you're a little better with your aim, do try the precision. It's something I need to play around with still myself. But if you're closer and better at aiming, basically, as it says there, it'll the aim slowdown will happen when you're kind of closer in on the target rather than that kind of bigger bounding box around the target which the normal aim assist would use. All these other settings now are pretty standard. I've not changed those around. I do like my sights to be hold and not toggle. I feel toggle's a little weird. Equipment behavior, again holding that. And of course we're using the contextual tap just to save those extra few seconds when wanting to open boxes or revive your teammate. Sometimes it can take a couple seconds to activate if you are on the standard tap to reload as it does require a hold rather than a tap and it can really catch you out sometimes if you're just wanting to loot really fast. So this should be enabled, I'm not sure why that's disabled but basically just having your gun automatically switch when you do run out of ammo just in case it catches you off guard is definitely a good one to have on. I'm a plate behavior, just applying one, so I can just tap that triangle just to apply the one armor or hold it to apply them all. Slide behavior, again I like this to be on tap, I don't like holding it and with my old controller honestly sometimes it doesn't work, so tapping seems better for me. My controller is really really broken and if you've got an old controller I would highly recommend using tap and even if not I would highly recommend trying tap instead of hold. It just feels a lot nicer and it makes slide cancelling a lot easier to do. Auto move forward, I keep that disabled and auto sprint, I keep that disabled. That's entirely up to you though. Some people may prefer this and some people may not, but I keep that off. I like to be able to um, do the sprint myself because sometimes I might not want to sprint. And uh, my parachute auto deploy, I do keep that enabled. I know a lot of people again play disabled, but the amount of times I've forgotten to open it because I'm too busy talking or focused on something else, honestly not great. So I do leave that enabled and vehicle recenter, I just like to have that enabled as well. Again, personal preference, you might like that disabled. Now, I'm not going to cover my audio or general settings. There's nothing really too special there um, at all. So let's get into the, the Rebirth Resurgence gameplay for you. It is a duos game. So I hope you do guys enjoy this. I hope these settings helped you out. If you do try these settings, do let me know in the comments below. I would really appreciate it. But for now guys, enjoy the gameplay and I hope to see you in the next one. That was a load up pop. Yeah. I can hear him on the right this way. Yeah, here he is, I'm round by. Okay. Can't see no eyes. Dead. He's right below. Got him, team wipe. Nice, huge, huge, huge. Uh, got a satchel as well. Survive, survive. Nice. You need some armor. Move to... Yeah, I got none. Nice, we got to move to the orange ping. Yeah, let's go. Let me guys in front of us for sure. Get on me! Oh, he beamed me. He's low, got him. but he's not cracked. Finish him, let's get him back. In his power though. Huge. Got him both, you might. And I'm back. M4, I'll, thank I'll you, pal. Ping it, I can land on MP7. Nice, huge, huge, huge. Mac 10, pals. Mac 10. Easy mode. Nice, got a precision. I'm honestly Just really fast. enjoying Warzone lately. I don't know why. I went through a phase of hating it. And now I'm just enjoying it again. Can you uh, remove that trophy ping, please? Just pal. No worries. Yeah, it's still on green. Oh, I don't have a mount, man. No mountain spot. This is what I'm thinking. It's not good, is it? 
We'll just uh, we'll just hold it a minute. Time for him. Yeah. I want four kills right now. Yeah, same man. Nice. Let's clean up. Yeah. There'll be guys in front for sure. Someone will be in these buildings. Oh, 100%. Never mind. Can hear him. Checking heartbeat. Clear. Don't like They're sitting here too long though. I just want to see who's going to come off the roof of uh, uh, prison. Prison. Yeah. Seagulls, man. <laughs> Seagulls. Ten left. Six squads. There's a couple of solos oh, in there. Geezer, geezer right yeah. there. Geezer right there. Yeah. That him. Oh, guy on top as well. In pop from top. Down him on green. I'm guy down in air. He's dead. He died because of the fall, right bro. Nice. I've I down again positioning. Nice, nice. Oh, there's a body. Did you get him? Yeah. Nice, bro. Where we got a Mutu? Oh, it's low. What about them two guys over there? Really oh, right, yeah, they're right there. Bro. Cracked, 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 cracked. Oh, on the left as well, bro. Yeah, green building, green building. <laughs> we need to move a little ground. Bro, no, no, we can get this roof. Heading this way. There's a ladder in Just trying to watch the guy in front, though. Is he we going down, down there? Yeah, man, we do. Oh, you want to play roof? Yeah, yeah, this roof. How did we get inside? You're in, bro. No, the roof. There's a ladder here, isn't there? Up here. Okay, you go first. Oh, thanks. Thanks. I'll be. I'll be. <laughs> well, you already went in front of me. You went in front of me already. Just, I'm just going to go pro and watch the guys from back. we got an assist yeah. to limb, so that's the guys from the back that we're up top. Don't see no one running downhill. Yeah. I don't have a, be the guys in this building. I don't have a gas mask, bro. Remember there was that guy down there as well. Oh, yeah, sniper down there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. He's aiming. He's aiming. Oh, yeah, yeah. Jeez. Oh, I can't mount it. No, me neither. Oh, yeah, if I mount, my head okay. just pops. My head just popped on the mount. We're good here, we're good here. Yeah, he's we need... Edge. Yeah. He, has, he, he has to move with his head glitch anyway, so it's fine. No, he's just gonna be in, he's just gonna be in. I think it's green we need to Taking be looking at. Yeah, yeah. We're going to heartbeat to our right. Just trying to... Uh, oh, bro. Three guys this way. On heartbeat. The Volvo will come this way, yeah. Us. And uh, zone comes to us. We can move to the next I don't see any. Stop. Right there. Head glitching right again. Right Cracked him. Right with you. I've only got... Oh, bro. We need to move. Oh, move next building. Next building. Next building right now. Oh, nice. I just got to finish. Somehow. Nice. How do you get roof? How do you get roof? Uh, good question. Oh, up here, up here, on me, on me, on me. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Fucking huge. <laughs> huge. You place, got a heartbeat, bro. you got a heartbeat. Yeah, yeah. Guys, I think right below us in our building. Let's push him, man. Go on, move, go on, move, go on, move, go on, move. Where's he? Here he is. Oh, my God. <gasps> the clutch, bro. I was, I just went down <laughs> and you finished him, so it didn't even put me down. That's so weird. Mach 10 nice and easy. Quite a few kills there, pal. Yeah, man. Was one is so much more fun at the minute, man. Positioning is so much fun <laughs> on this game, bro. Isn't it? Uh, Cheeky rooftop trying to find a ladder. <laughs> <laughs> Running around for ladders. Easy, bro. Oh, fun little game, that one. I, I am enjoying Warzone a lot more recently. I think it honestly is Resurgence. Yeah, Resurgence is so much fun, man. Just added like a ton more to the game. What are we saying? Well, let's see this score boiled. An hour later. Ah, oh, six kills, five kills. Nice, five bro. Five and six. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Not too bad.